Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 32nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the last statement in Perl. So uh, the last statement is by the by the last statement I don't mean the last statement I mean the statement last in Perl and uh, this statement is equivalent to the break statement in most programming languages um, you know just as the um, next statement was equivalent to the continue statement the last in Perl means uh, break in uh, C++ or Java or you know PHP or uh, you know so many other programming languages so anyway uh, I'm going to use a very similar example to what uh, we saw in the last tutorial I have a script here that's called last and in this script on line number three I have a for loop which has uh, x as a control variable and uh, I have initialized x uh, within the for statement and it has initial value of 10 the test condition is x is less than or equal to 20 and uh, we are incrementing the value of x by 1 and over here since I have less than equal to instead of uh, just less than the loop is expected to have 11 iterations but let's say we want this loop to run only till a certain point and you know of course you could argue that uh, you know why uh, program it within the loop you know we could just change the test condition so if suppose you want this loop to only work till x has the value 15 then you could you know play with the test condition here x is less than equal to 15 instead of uh, uh, you know 20 but let's say you have a situation in which you want the user to be able to decide uh, how many iterations the you the, the you know the loop should have and uh, the maximum value that X can take is 20 so you're providing the scope for the loop through the for statement and then within the body of the loop you can have an if statement but this time uh, you know even though the test condition is going to be the same uh, X is equal to equal to 15 instead of using the next statement we are going to use the statement last so you just type last and put a semicolon and what this would do is as soon as the program uh, you know the control reaches this statement you know uh, the loop is not going to have any more iteration so unlike next in which we simply move to the update part and you know proceeded with the next iteration in case of last we are not going to have any more iterations of the loop and we're you know just going to pass the control to this line you know line number 10 if there was anything after this curly brace and that would have executed as soon as we went you know reached last so again I'll explain the flow x initially has a value 10 the test condition uh, is okay we're going to get inside the if statement is going to fail we're going to print the value of x update x to 11 you know move ahead and uh, do the same thing and as soon as x is going to get the value 15 this uh, test condition is going to value to true if it's going to work we are going to get inside the if block execute last and that will be the end of story for the loop so let me make sure that this file is saved I'll press F5 to run it and there we go we see 10 11 12 13 and 14 but we don't see 15 because we have this part inside uh, the body of the loop so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care